Hey, it's Brickzar. And we're going to look at the new Mindstorms EV3. This is the new generation of the Mindstorm set 31313, 601 pieces. It has the new programmable brick, has a lot of um, accessories that go with it. And to me, this is the best Mindstorms to date. The uh, the programmable brick is, um, I think, the best one, obviously. This technology has gotten better, but I like this because it has the Bluetooth feature where you can use your uh, Bluetooth on your phone to or iPad or whatever to control it. So it's pretty neat. And the thing that drew me to this Mindstorms is I have always seen the Mindstorms. I've never bought them when they were new in the store. But I wanted to build this um, Reptar, R3P Tar, <laughs> the snake. When I saw the video they did uh, when they were promoting this a while back, uh, that's what I wanted to build. So, the, you, you get uh, plenty of pieces to, to build um, different models. They give you instructions to build the tracker. In printed form I'll set this camera down you get this so it's just is the only manual the only thing in the manual that, that you build is the tracker and as a warning I should uh, tell you that uh, the box itself is uh, the play mat or the, the tracking for the tracker there's a, a pattern on the back of it so when you open yours be sure you don't rip your box because the outer sleeve is a, actually like a part <laughs> for the set. Now, you do not get these orange trays. I, however, recommend if you're going to get into Mindstorms, uh, I, getting some of these trays. I got these from the LEGO, LEGO Education website. They actually have these orange ones on, or is it the gray ones? Well, they got orange and gray. One of them was on clearance, but uh, it's a good way of keeping the little pins separated it made it a lot easier to build instead of pieces rolling all around the table and i'm sure that people that are really into mindstorms probably use something like this or even like the sorting trays that you can buy at target or lego shop at home but i highly recommend getting some trays uh, to keep the parts organized where you can find what you need and they're not rolling all over the place so that's the overview of the box and the parts uh, this is not all the parts because i have already built the Reptar. So we're going to look at that in this video and then perhaps later I'll build some of these other models but as far as my review of the Mindstorms it is all based on the snake. That was my favorite one. So let's go look at it. All right here's good old Reptar. I got them on a smooth surface. It's got the little tiny wheels. You got one drive wheels here and then you got some other little rolling wheels. These don't have rubber on them. Those do. So it needs smooth surface. It will not work good on carpet. Or anywhere there's a bump normally we have like a rug here I moved it out of the way to do the video so I'll turn the, the programmable brick on it takes it a, a moment to, to boot up but um, this is the snake and in the front there's motion sensors or or something there with the eyes it detects movement motion you got other controls here. It uses these uh, kind of like little Ethernet cables that go into the, the different control units, different motors. Uh, and there's the tail. It has sound effects, as we heard when it was booting up. And hopefully the program is still in there. Let's see. Let's see if I control it with this. Yeah. Okay. So the, you got the little infrared. I'll turn it off. This is infrared, so it's kind of line of sight. But this button here, you push it, and it'll, it'll snap at you until you tell it to stop. And then you got forward and reverse. And then you turns left and right with this. And it's hard to operate with one hand. Uh-oh. I can never do it. And you can also do different programs that they give you, and you can program it yourself. 
Uh, one of the initial builds, you just program it to strike at you whenever you put your hand, but right now it's not programmed to do that. I just make, I have, I make it do it. I think I've, I, I think I recorded a video that I'll, I'll include it with the, um, this video when I edit it, if it, just when you run your hand in front of it, it would it try to snap you. That would probably scare somebody. I just love it. All right. Stop. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you operating it with the phone. And since I'm recording with my phone, i got to use a different camera. I don't know how well, I don't know how well this will turn up. I know the audio will be bad on this camera, but you got an app here for Commander, and it gives you the Reptar command. And then basically, if he's synced up, let's see, got hit start. I think I got to reconnect the Bluetooth. All right, I had to enable the Bluetooth on my phone. It had disabled again. So once you got it controlled, uh, you go to the Reptar part of the app. This is a free app that you download, and then you can do things with it. Let me move it from side to side, forward, and Isn't that the neatest thing? <laughs>
So there you have it, the Reptar. This is a really cool model. I like it very much. And then I can go over here to the settings. And I think we can go back to... Um, IR control. Let's see. Yeah, now I can control it with this again. So you can switch back and forth between controlling it with the infrared and with your phone. Uh, you can't. You don't have the uh, obviously the shakeability <laughs> with the uh, infrared, but this is uh, you get a lot more uh, control features using it with your phone than you do with the, the actual brick, uh, the control brick. So this is, I really like this set. I really like this model. They, I think it's a good one. What happened to my turning feature? Yeah, I don't think I got all the controls on there. But anyway, very cool model. And I'll probably eventually get around to building some of the other ones, but the cat hasn't been introduced to this yet. I want the cat to see it, see how they react, and I'll try to get that on film in another video. Anyway, thanks for watching this, and um, I'll try to include some other videos of this Mindstorm set, set 31313, the EV3. Maybe they should have gave it the set number 33333. Please comment, like, and subscribe. This is Brixar.